We are now entering the brave new world of smart meters. That means your electric meter will do so much more than just show how much electricity you use. The new smart meters are watching you. They sense all kinds of goings on. They see when you turn something on or off. They see how many watts your electric toothbrush pulls. They send the record of that little event over wireless networks, bouncing through your neighbor's smart meters all the way to the power company where they keep record of all your electric consumption volumes and patterns every minute of every day and store that data forever on computers that you'll never get to see. That data shows when you are at home, shows when you're sleeping, shows when you're on vacation, when you have visitors, when you use a lamp, a power tool, some extra computers, and if you look like you're running a business out of your home. It even senses when you bootleg energy off the grid. Your smart meter data shows a vivid profile of your personal living patterns and whether or not you were at home on the night of the murder. This is not electrical metering. This is personal surveillance. This is a search without a warrant every day. This is your personal private life going straight out through your electric meter to the power company, to the government, to the police, to the insurance company, to anyone who cuts a deal with your power company to look at your life under a microscope. Sorry, it's actually worse than that. People who don't cut a deal can get your information too by simply intercepting the wireless signal spewing from the side of your house. Yes, smart meters are radio transmitters. Here's how you tell. This one is a one watt radio station licensed by the FCC. On this all news radio station, every detail of your electrical life is shooting off to some institutional data center somewhere. Already, the police in Ohio, Texas, British Columbia, and places I don't know about are regularly using smart meter data to pinpoint marijuana grow houses, enforce business licenses, and punish people for doing things in the privacy of their own homes that you were not supposed to do, but they wouldn't even know you were doing if they weren't spying on you. Your power company apparently gets to sell your personal life story to whomever it wants. Any unusual power consumption pattern is considered probable cause to raid you for growing marijuana or running a computer server without a business license. This is about as big brother as it gets. Those friendly men with their truckload of smart meters are going door to door with something a little different than a Christmas carol. My personal opinion is that you and I need to demand that these things be taken off our homes. It is not possible for your power company to claim they have the right to install a surveillance device on your house. Smart meters are no different from wiretapping devices. And in case you didn't know, wiretapping is illegal in all 50 of the states and the federal territories. If you let your power company put a smart meter on your house, you may as well walk around all day with a Facebook helmet webcam pointed at yourself. They have convinced themselves installing smart meters is lawful by some reaching to the moon jive called implied consent. If you say they can change your meter, they pretend you consent even when you don't know really what they're doing. Here's a tip. Tell them they can't change your meter. They had no trouble billing you with the old meter. If you send them a notice by certified mail that they may not install a smart meter or any other surveillance device on your house, their implied consent goes out the window. I would do that if I were you. In fact, I did that and I'm not even you. You can see a copy of my letter in the drop down next to this video. You can copy and paste that into your word processor. Make sure and change the info into your own info. The post office will give you the certified mail slip. Those friendly guys on the sidewalk told me that they plan to put a smart meter on every house in America. If they do that, it will no longer be America.